Right, I'm just going to do the outside now. I've done a video inside, taken loads of photos. There's a lovely sculptured memorial here. Not can't quite make out who it's to. So it might come out. There's a great big um, grave area over there that was once um, iron fenced of the Halswells. He's got a big table tombs here. Vicarage next door, I presume. Another red brick type. Different though, this isn't actually brick, this is like red sandstone but um, organised differently. I don't know all the terms. I'm just doing this little video and then I've got to get back. Time's ticking. And I've done well, very well. I mean the mansion was a real find. I've just been inside and done a video of the Halswell's memorials and some of them are interred with inside the church but I've just been wandering around the outside of their mansion and um, that's truly amazing. Lots and lots of ghosts up there for sure. There's a chain fence right over there is the Halswell's. There's just one sort of um, stone on there now. Don't recognise any names here. There's nothing really down here. I did go and have a look. There's a little shed and a boiler for heating the church and all that sort of thing. That's probably the vicarage at the back there. So I've done very well today. Very well. It's a lovely church. It's one of these little two-seater things, probably even with a hole where you can put a pole to keep you shaded. Arthur Wise on their golden wedding anniversary 2006 donated this little seating arrangement. Needs a bit of um, wood protection put on it. Here's the old, they probably kept this on purpose like this, the old hobbly cobbly um, pathway. So that's the church in there. As we know, we've been in there already, and there's a either a swift or a swallow decided to get stuck in here, and he's right up there. He can't get out. I don't know how they get them out. I, for, unfortunately, I left the door slightly open, but I've left it open now because he can't get out. I'm not shutting it. They left a trip, otherwise they won't know he's in there. Oh yeah, to the Mullins family round here. There's um, this was once railed as well. Look, and banked and railed, and they've got all their plaques all round there. Look, that looks quite a newish one that's been put on. So they must have been of six, some significance here once. The Mullins family, and I knew of Michael Mullins when I was a child. I think he's, I think it's got out. Oh, I just seen a swift then. Seen something fly off. Let me just check if it was that one or not. Something came bolting out of the church. No, come on. The other one's waiting for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is all. This is all humpy bumpy because there would have been a lot more um, graves in here, visible ones. I mean, they tidy them up now. They forget that they're a visible record. You can tell. Look at the humpy bumpiness. There's a couple there that seem to die the same year. 
one died in January. Don't say the date of the other one, but Daniel and Audrey. She uh, she was 90 anyway, so that's rather nice, isn't it? Another lovely, peaceful graveyard. Look at that picture of the church there, look. It's beautiful, isn't it? And here's the chain fencing around the Halswell. Obviously there must be a lot of them in there. Later ones, some are inside, but the earlier ones, but I mean there you've got um, Charles, Theodore, Halswell, Kenny, Tynt, I don't know how you pronounce it, but they, uh, there's two families married into each other, but there's just one big tombstone there left like that. I expect there was a load more in here. They might have all had stones once as well. I bet they did. Can't imagine it just being that. Not for a family like that. So this is St Edward, not St Edward. Yeah, St Edward, he was a king. He was murdered. And um, I think it was his stepmother who murdered him. So she could put her child on the throne. Alfreda, or, or what, what, some sort of such a name. And um, so this church is dedicated to him. Of course they were based in Wessex, all that lot, which we've got in the tree. <sighs> King Arthur. King Alfred and all that lot, all that family. This is well decorated, looks very Victorian. Um, this is, could be memorial to the people of the First World War, so I'm not quite sure. There's somebody aged 57 on there. Um, I'm not quite sure what, what, who this memorial is before, but it looks very Victorian with all these cherubims and little angels and things on it and it's taken centre stage. The old cross there has just got the base. It's just got the base only and there, there probably would have been a figurine in here. Could have been stolen at one point. That, I mean that bit could have come off something else. I've got a booklet, I'll read through it later. I'm just going to leave the door open to be quite honest because I'm frightened by that bird. There's a swallow flown in. I ought to write a note, really. I can't leave it in here. He's still flying about, look. I'll leave a note, alright? I'll leave the door open for you. Over and out. <laughs> 